What's up YouTube? Here we are again with another awesome moto vlog. Thank you for joining into this one. It's going to be a simple install video and I'm mainly filming this just so that you're up to date with what things I've currently been doing to the GX470. I have some really cool stuff coming up soon with some of the RRW uh, seat covers and that's going to totally transform the look of the inside of the car so I'm stoked about that. And I'm also going to be doing a speaker video here soon because there's a lot of blown speakers in this car and so I have plans to replace all of those and kind of do a little update on what speakers I used and um, the before and after on the sound on that. So super simple video here, just doing some blacking out of the badges on the back of the car and also blacking out the front grille. I decided to go with Plasti Dip just because it was a non-permanent solution. Uh, I've never really Plasti Dip that much before. Uh, it's a very straightforward process. I, I didn't really want to go through and make this a tutorial on how to Plasti Dip because there's a million people with YouTube videos on the details of it. But if for some reason, particularly, you have a question, uh, send me a comment or put a comment down below and let me know if you have any questions. Uh, or otherwise, Instagram uh, message me as well. I can respond through that. But overall, I just wanted to show this video just so you know, you know, the current state of the GX and uh, let you know that I'm still making videos and there's going to be some cool videos coming up here soon. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So it's been about 35 minutes since I have done the fifth coat here, so everything's looking dry and I'm going to go ahead and start peeling. Uh, as you can see, everything's looking pretty smooth. As you can see, there are some inner pieces that need to be kind of peeled. So I'm using a uh, tip of a zip tie just to kind of get in there and peel those up and we'll peel out those center pieces. So, finally got through peeling out all the insides of the letters. There's the black V8. So you can see the Lexus logo, or the Lexus writing. Looks good. Overall, I think it turned out awesome. Here's the main logo, and then this whole thing here is now black. Overall, the back end of the car now has a nice blacked out look. I'd say this is a nice cheap mod, and the great thing is, is if you have commitment issues like me, you can go ahead and uh, just do this and if you don't like it you can peel it off it's not permanent so I originally was going to just tape off the whole front grill and plastic at that and then I decided to pop the hood and see how easy it would be to pull the grill out and awesome enough it was like I don't know five or seven screws or uh, bolts to undo under there and some of them were actually missing and some were finger tight so I'm going to go ahead and remove the full grill and just kind of 
bring it in here, paint it. No taping required. Super easy doing it that way. And then we'll just put it right back into the hood. So that'll be just kind of a nice, quick, easy way to do the front grill. If you have the option to remove your grill, I highly recommend because taping is a pain and then you have all the peeling to do. With this, I'll have no peeling and no taping and it's super easy to remove the grill. So if you have that option, I'd say go for it. Coat number five is dry. It's been about an hour since the last coat, so we're gonna go ahead and pop this on. Not sure how it's gonna hold up with bugs and trying to get them off, so if this thing looks like garbage in about a month from now, I'll probably just strip off the plastic dip and truck bed line coat this whole thing just like we did on the roof rack. So. We'll see what happens and uh, let's just throw it on, see what it looks like. Looks a lot better without the chrome all over the place here. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Like I said, very simple install. I just wanted to keep you guys in the loop on where I'm currently at with the GX470 build. Stay tuned for some more GX470 content in the near future. And also there's gonna be a couple videos coming out here that are very M4 specific, trying to catch up on some M4 content as well. But there's also gonna be some great GX470 content coming out here in the very near future. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for watching. And we'll see you on the next one.